Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the fifth video under the playlist of release 4.0 where we are covering the major releases under release 4.0 of Tally Prime. So in the last couple of videos, we covered the first major announcements or the feature that is the dashboard. And in the last video, we covered the Excel import where we understood how we can import the accounting masters from Excel into Tally through the sample or default template that Tally provides. In this session, we will learn how we can import the basic inventory masters into Tally through Excel and again using the sample or the default template that Tally provides for us to capture the data. Let us go to Tally and explore the option of importing the inventory masters from Excel into Tally. Continuing from the last video, in this video, let us learn how to create inventory masters in Excel and import them into Tally Prime. Again here, we shall learn simple master structure importing into Tally Prime. In the upcoming videos, we shall discuss about the advanced fields of inventory masters. Now let us learn where to find and how do we download the sample Excel file. Again, click on import, click on manage sample Excel file masters. Once you select masters, you will get this dialog box. Click on conf from the list of configurations under general export sample file for it says all accounting masters which is what we imported in the previous session. Now, since the cursor is here, just press enter and you will now see the list of all sample files which Tally is providing. So all accounting master, all inventory masters, all masters will be all your other masters included. Then you have cost center, cost category, employee and so on. Now what we need to do is we have to now select the all inventory master for downloading the sample template file. Take your cursor to all inventory master and press enter. Once you select, you will now observe that all inventory master list is selected here. Just press escape and we will see all inventory masters and the folder path we learned in the previous session how to set up the default folder path and now click on export. The moment you click on export, Tally is now going to download the file in the default folder and it will also open the file. Now you can capture your inventory masters with the opening balances if it is an existing company and where you want to transfer all the opening balances into Tally Prime. Here if you notice under column A again the name is in bold which means this is a mandatory field where you have to capture the data and you cannot leave it blank or you cannot delete this column. The rest of the column that you are seeing here, which is in the normal font, these are optional fields where either you can leave them blank or you can remove them if you don't want it. If you leave the group name as blank here, then all the stock items will be created under Tally's predefined group of primary. I have already created a sample master structure. Let us quickly walk through the same. Before that, you will observe that the all inventory master has been downloaded in our default folder which is the excel data. These are the stock items that I have already created and their respective groups. The unit of measure is numbers and I have also captured the opening balance quantity, the opening balance rate, the rate per unit and the value of the quantity and the rate in the value column. Important aspect you have to remember here for inventory masters is that for stock items, there are dependent masters. The first dependent master is stock item will have a user defined group. Default group in Tally is the primary group which Tally already provides. So while creating a stock item, if I leave the group name as blank, as I mentioned earlier, all the items will be grouped under primary. And the second dependent master is the units of measures which will be associated with every stock item. Now first let us import the stock items with these details and let us see what happens. Just remember the two dependent master I had just now mentioned. You can save this excel file, you can close it or you can minimize it. In the last video we learned the steps to import the master file. So we come here, click on 
import click on masters and the file format is excel spreadsheet which we saw in the last video the file path is excel data and here we have all inventory masters which we had captured with our inventory information select that enter and what is the worksheet name the worksheet name is stock item selected the mapping template is the default template that we have downloaded from tally selected and the type of master that we want to import here is the stock item so select stock item and press enter so we understood the behavior so let us select modify with new data enter preview import summary yes we want to preview before importing backup we don't want to take any backup so enter and now tally is recognize the fields in the excel file and it is giving you the information here so it says there are total 13 stock items which are here so as usual you can compare these line items if you see here again you have the count as 13 numbers so tally is recognized the stock items so let's minimize this and let's click on import you see this message there are errors the event log says that there are errors while importing which means tally is not imported this masters and how do we see this event log from here directly click on event log the event log will open with the error message that you can identify or alternatively you can view them from f1 help select troubleshooting and under troubleshooting you have this event log which you can at any point in time verify it so let's click on event log here and we will observe that the error it says all 13 stock item it says the stock group pen drive storage mouse keyboards monitors and laptops does not exist which means these are user defined group since these groups are not present or we have not imported them earlier tally is not able to import this under the group we have specified these group names so that is where the error is so let us now go to the excel sheet and let's blank out the group name so the tally will import it automatically into the primary group open your excel file and let's select these groups and blank it out so we have removed the group name and now let us try to import it the event log will keep capturing the error messages in the sequential order as per the date and time so if you want you can retain this error message or you can come here on the right hand side you have this button called clear log click on clear log and you get this message tally is reconfirming just press enter and now whatever is the error of the event log is removed let us now import the masters without the group which we made it blank so click on import masters so it will retain the previous configuration so you can just press ctrl a and now it says that under primary group there are 13 stock items which let's now import so i'm click on import now again tally is telling that there is some error so we have to go to the event log to find out what is the error this time even though we have removed the user defined group name we have to see what is the error so click on event log and now this time tally is telling you if you remember this is the second dependent master for stock item which is again not available in tally so tally is not able to import this masters since the dependent master is not already present in tally prime in both these cases we saw that none of the masters were imported now let us say you want tally to import your masters and record the nature of exceptions which we saw here error in the event log but then you want tally to tell you what is the error or what is the dependent master which is missing so that from tally itself it will assist you to manually create those masters and automatically your items will get imported so how do we achieve this let us clear the event log click on clear log so you get this dialog box just press enter event log is cleared now let us press escape and come back to gateway of tally to allow tally to import the master and specify the dependent masters that are not there an important configuration you have to make sure that this option is set as follows so what you have to do is click on import here or you press alt o click here 
and you have this configuration related to import of masters or transactions so click on configure and you have the list of configuration which is there the important aspect that make sure that you set this option before you do import of any excel information into tally come down here and press enter you have three behaviors of import number one stop import at first exception that means if the dependent master when tally is trying to import your first master if the dependent masters are not there tally will stop and it will not import second is ignore exception and import so this is what has been selected by default ignore exceptions and import it is ignore the exception but then since the dependent masters are not exception which are mandatory that is the reason why tally is not able to import your stock item now the next option a very very handy option make sure that you are selecting this is record exceptions and import you are saying record the exceptions but import the data and tell me what are the errors that are there so let us select record exceptions and you will now see this information here it is very important for us to read for any warning or any message or information tally is providing if we ignore this then sometimes you will be in a difficult situation to actually go and discover the information that you are looking for in this case it says this will complete the import process and record all exceptions in the exception report now it is not an error report it is not in the event log but tally says that there is another report called exception report and it will record all the exception in this report now how do you go and find this report after import you can resolve these exceptions any time so right now you can do it or later on if you want to resolve how do you go and discover the exception report it says at any time from import exception that means from the import menu you are going to have a new option called exception and that is where you will go and see what are the exceptions so that you can correct them so press enter and now you can just press escape you don't have to save this let us now import the master and see what happens so click on import again masters so all this information is fine just press control a and now it is imported it says that there are 13 masters so let's click on import you click on import now this time instead of event log or error tally is telling you that it is imported the master but there are some dependent master which is not there so it is now identified that and it is going to tell you what is the correction that is required or what is the exception that has occurred so you can click here exception so it is going to now give you it says that there is a referenced master which is missing for your 13 stock item so you can correct it here or by let's say you want to rectify them at a later point in time if you just press escape you are in the gateway of tally now if you observe tally is put one e which means it says that the e is data exceptions exist that means you are you have tried to import some information it could be master or it could be transaction but since you change the behavior of import to record exception and import it is telling you that you have to look into the exception now how do you go and look into the exception this is where you have to remember the warning that tally had given so click on import and you will now observe that there is this menu called exception click on exception you will come back here at any point in time until you don't resolve it you can always see this exception through this menu now select reference master is missing enter here and it says that the reference master is unit of measure the unit of measure is not existing in tally let us go to chart of account and see whether the 13 stock items have been imported so click on go to just type chart of account select chart of account and select stock items and we will observe that none of the stock items have been imported into tally since there is an exception right so you come back here so let's see what is the unit enter now it says under the unit master in this excel there are units 
which is created as numbers now if you have multiple units tally is going to give you the list of multiple units like kgs liters meters whatever it is okay now since this dependent master is not created already so how do we now create it it is very simple now all you need to do is just press enter it will take you to unit creation screen now this is where tally helps you for any person who doesn't know how to navigate and create this masters through this exception report tally will allow you to very easily create this masters for you to import your stock items so the symbol is numbers just enter you want to enter this formal name as numbers if there are any decimal place in this case no decimal place is required just press enter and accept and once you have accepted this you will see that the exception has vanished which means now tally should have imported all the stock items with the dependent master of unit of measure now the other dependent master which is user defined group we did not specify since we have blanked out the group name all the item will automatically go under the predefined tally's group of primary group let's now view the chart of account click on go to again type chart of accounts enter select stock item enter and you will now observe that all the stock items the 13 stock items you will observe here 13 stock item has been imported in the next video we shall see how to handle importing of user defined stock groups and also units of measures i hope this video will help you to manage importing of inventory masters from Excel into Tally. And important aspect that we also understood is the dependent master as far as the inventory masters are concerned. In the next video, we will see how you can create your user defined group, which we had issue while importing in this video, and also how you can create your unit of measure and how we can make simpler import experience we will learn in the next video. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.